lawyer in town. I don't know if Sam and Susan Altman, does that name we'll ring the bell? Send it back in a way that he I passed away suddenly it. on uh, Sunday morning. Oh, I'm sorry. How terrible. I yeah. It was terrible. Okay. Very nice okay. guy. He's a wonderful Very nice guy. Person. Yes. He was my double lotsman, Aunt Betty. Yes. If you're from Colachine and you're from Charleston, you're a double lotsman. I, you know, every time I saw Sam, I would say, Sam, you know you're a Colachine. He said, what was that? <laughs> oh, please. Charlie <laughs> Goldberg wouldn't admit it until he, about a month before he passed away. You know, uh, Sam. Shame Shame sir. <laughs> yeah. Anita, you keep disappearing and the camera keeps yeah, up. right. Well, I know just... it's just because of my background that I have. And my sister just called, so I had to take her call. Are, are oh. they having any storms? Not right now. It looks like it's gonna end up going more in on the Gulf Coast. Yeah. Again. So, <laughs> oh, again in the Gulf Coast. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but I think more Florida's Gulf Coast rather than Louisiana. So we'll oh. see. Oh, God. Yeah, it's like nonstop with these storms. And there's two more out there that may form. Yeah, so I saw that. Knows. Joe Rothstein, how you been? Doing good. Staying out of trouble. And, uh... I should speak Yiddish. Vasatz of Yiddish. Vasatz of Yiddish. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Hi, Hannah. Hi. Hi. How you doing? How are you? Good. How are you? Okay. I haven't hey. seen you in years. I know. Well, you, you, all you guys picked up and moved to South to Charleston. I know. I know. I know. I, I, did, I did. I did visit one time, but I think when we came, you were away. You were not in town. Yeah, I think so. Probably it was in Israel at the time. This is a very determined thing. We hope to come again. <laughs> I hope so. Excellent. Yeah. When, right. when, when life gets back to normal, right? Uh, I'm hoping now with this new vaccine, it'll be soon. Huh. Yeah, I hope so too. I spoke to Sherman so today. Well, oh, you did? Oh, it's nice. It's uh, 8 o'clock. I think we need to, uh, yeah. everybody, if you mute yourselves or we can do that for you. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for our, our guest here. Let me just see where she is. Hold on. Well, I guess you can talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> Anita and Dove, the vice as, as the Yiddish sprach is the sprach von Liebe. Uh, you understand? Yeah. It's the the language of love. Oh, oh. I the language of love. Taka. Taka. Yeah. Yes, yes. 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 My daddy used to say, we don't say honey, no sweetheart. <laughs> he used to always say that. We don't talk like Americans. We don't say honey, but sweetheart. We don't say, you don't have to say it, he says. My <laughs> redness. <laughs> <laughs> he said, you don't have to, we don't have to read this there. You have to read this there. You have to read this there. I'll tell you where it's sweet, though, where it's really sweet is between a child and a parent. Then, then there's, it reeks with uh, endearment oh. and affection. Looks My like we nickel. have some new faces, too. So okay. it, uh, Mike, maybe later we can ask uh, those who are new to us, we can introduce themselves. Okay. Oh, okay. Man einikol atlip sish sprechen Yiddish. Man einikol? Einikol, yeah, I'm teaching yeah. him. Wow. Well, so I've got to listen to what he knows. Here's what he knows. He, he, knows. I say, he comes up to me and he says, Was machst <laughs> No, I say to him, Was machst And he says, and then I taught him. What's mach dir? I said, Yich mach get off it. So that's what we got going so far. We out is the we out is the anical. We out um the um how do you say it? The ratzen? 
Dreizen. Dreizen, no? Dreizen, you are. Mishoin Bar Mitzvah. Mishoin Bar Mitzvah. Mazel Tov. Mazel Tov. Eric had the Bar Mitzvah and Geret Ale Zibin Parshas Noah. Wow. Alio, Alio. The Noah. The Noah. The 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 stimma, but there. <laughs> you want to start, Joe? I, some people are still coming on, but why don't we start? Okay. Sure. Okay. So, first of all, I want to welcome everybody to tonight's uh, Yiddish Live. I, I, I lost count of how many we've done. This is about tenth, I think, maybe. And um, I think we've had uh, really an interesting run. Um, I don't know how many people are going to be on, but if we have a lot of people, it would be helpful if everybody mutes their uh, microphone and we'll call on everybody but raise your hand so we want to do a couple things tonight first of all we have another a, a special guest she was with us last month this is Yana why don't you raise your hand Yana Yana's the uh, I don't know, your president or director I'm not sure what your title is of, <laughs> of, of Yana is Y-A-A-N-A and it's uh, the, the uh, Yiddish. Why don't you tell us what, what, what's the what's the acronym? I know the last piece is North America. <laughs> it's too long. The it's Yiddish good. Arts and Academics Association of North America. Okay, so so name. so Jan and I got together uh, through a third party friend, and we realized that you know she's she's further along on her journey, and. Uh, and is doing some wonderful stuff. That Yana's in, in San Diego, but she also has a global network of people. And um, what we want to do is we're going to partner and uh, we're going to share our um, stuff, our, 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 our Yiddish Alive, our uh, large reach that we have with the Federation Jewish Club, and she's going to share her programs with us. And um, last week she talked about, uh, or two weeks ago, she talked a little bit about her vision of Yiddish land, and, and I, I'm working with one of her people on, on getting that proposal. But what I'd like her to do is share about share a little bit about the program that they've got coming in December, which is, I think is over the top, and, and, and it will be available to all of us. Um, and uh, why, why don't you do that? You want to share your screen, or do you want to just talk it? Yeah, yeah, I can talk, and I can share the screen also. Just oh, but you have to enable. Okay, uh, me to me do, do so because okay. for now I can't. Okay, let me just see if I do that. I think. Whoops. Mm. Did I allow you to do that or not? Let me check again. Yes, yes, yes. Excellent. Okay. Thank you. So why don't you share your screen? Because I, I think, mm -hmm. I think there's just so many exciting things that you're going to be doing in December, and we'll send out, uh, we'll send out to you all and everybody on our distribution list. You got it? Yes, yes, yes. Um, for some reason, it's freezing for me. Well, first I tell you what the idea is. So when I was learning Yiddish from scratch, I learned mostly during summer courses that were all over the world. But of course, now with COVID, there are no longer summer courses anywhere and uh, the offer is limited of learning in person. So now we do it through Zoom and we do it we will do it in the winter so the idea is to do an intensive Yiddish course for two weeks in the winter which is uh, gonna start in December and we took basically I'll also put the link in chat the mm. this is a program and I'll try to share this screen for oh there we go now it should be visible to you Maybe you know some of the teachers. Some of them are YIVO teachers. So these are the dates and the name, not your usual intensive winter Yiddish language and culture program. It's not your usual one because uh, as I mentioned, <laughs> I don't think uh, that was the 
vital teaching dish in the past, but we have to adapt to our current conditions. These are our teachers. Some are local, some are international. Uh, maybe some of you know Yale Strom. He's a klezmer that is quite well known here in California. And then his wife, Elizabeth Schwartz. Cindy Pale is in LA. Chef Vatsuker is the most famous one of them, but she always gives us a very bad quality picture. So <laughs> she ends up the smallest <laughs> on the program. And there are some younger, these are uh, the teachers who teach at Ivo, and some of them are from America, some from Canada, some from Israel, and some from Ukraine. So these are the teachers. And we have these uh, few levels. So beginners one is from scratch. Aleph base. Things you can take in Yiddish. <laughs> Some of you already know uh, Yiddish very good, so they don't need that. Um, and there are other levels, beginners too, intermediate and advanced. And advanced is basically for people who already speak, they want to not forget it, right? Um, and each of these levels will have two uh, courses. One is 90 minute class uh, and the other one is Shmues. So we'll learn to talk about contemporary subjects. We'll learn to talk about our lives. We'll practice speaking. And there is another package, which is learn Yiddish through song. And this is for all levels. And uh, we have four different teachers and one can enroll in the whole uh, course or one can just decide to take one workshop. And there are four workshops, Hanukkah songs, since it's gonna be at the Hanukkah time, sing and learn Yiddish with Bobe Elie, that's uh, how to learn Yiddish through song, <laughs> Mamesh, okay. Uh, then Yiddish love songs and food, Yiddish song workshop about food. Where's all this to take place? California, on the computer. No, on Zoom, everything is uh, virtual. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, and uh, Yel Strom has his special event. He just wrote a book for kids. So he will read it to everybody and he will, um, he will also play his music. And the last thing on the program is Yiddish okay. yoga. So Yiddish yoga is for everybody. It's gonna be in English and in Yiddish. So we we'll learn how to relax, how Yiddish can be relaxing. <laughs> And this is it. Here you have the descriptions in. And we'll, we'll, we'll send this out there. So what's your capacity for doing this? How many people can join? Okay. We really don't have any limits right, at the moment. Uh, well, if we have more people than we expect to have, then we can hire new teachers. We work now with 20 teachers. So we have plenty of people to <laughs> accommodate more classes. Oh, nice. That's great. That's not a problem. The hardest is, I can tell you, uh, the classes for kids. I know uh, one of you was talking about teaching the uh, grandchildren Yiddish, but I'm talking about smaller kids, like my daughter's age, three years old, she's three years old, and there are even smaller kids, like one or two. <laughs> oh, and this is a big challenge, but we're gonna nail it too at some point. So, so, so let me ask a show of hands. Would, would people here be interested if, if, if Yana would, would create something for younger kids, for their grandchildren? I mean, is this something that, uh, that you guys would be interested in? We'd be interested in, but would, would the kids be interested in it? That's right. We had a, quite a few teachers who were traditional <laughs> teachers and it didn't work. So now we hired a performer uh, and she's pretty good. We tested with my daughter how much she can handle, and my daughter has zero zits flash. You know, she's <laughs> zero patience for Zoom. She's three years old, but when she looks at her, she's hypnotized. So I figured she would be good for the kids. That's definitely the biggest challenge. So, does any, anybody have any questions of, of Yana? Why don't you raise your hand and then unmute? Anybody have any questions or comments? David. What unmute yourself. You standing up, what's it being done? David, you have to unmute yourself to talk. Okay, okay. You, uh, you, you can hear me? Hear me? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Tell me again, Yana, when would it start? I'm a beginner. 
Uh huh. December six. Uh, mm -hmm. What time in the day? <laughs> I, I muted myself. I don't know how to do this. But... Everybody but David should mute because we're getting. Uh, a yes, reading. yes. I can't really talk now. Okay. So from scratch, from scratch, you're saying. Yes. From scratch is uh, these are the mornings. So there is one course, 11 a.m. to 12:30 p.m. Pacific time. So that's in the afternoon in the eastern. Yes, and then 1:30 uh, to 2:30, also Pacific time. But it's all in chat. We can send you the uh, document. Yeah, we'll, you send that, and, and we'll, we're going to send out uh, the flyer sometime in the next mm -hmm. day or so, so that everybody gets that. Seymour, you. raising your hand. iPad Air. Seymour, yeah. is the class going to be recorded and come, in, and come intermittently, or do you have to be sitting mm -hmm. at a place for the, for the two-week session? Mm -hmm. Yes, so not everybody can make it to all the sessions. Of course, we understand. Come so we will record the course. And, and you can, we can access, students can access it intermittently based on their own schedules? Yes. Yes, lots of people uh, want this option if they, for instance, live in Australia <laughs> and it's 2 a.m. at their place, of course, uh, they, they will uh, choose to. And there is one student in China also who will be doing exactly what you're saying. Also, Jana, I mm -hmm. took the information off your last session and I sent a registration to your organization that night and never heard anything back as far as... Really? <clears throat> what, should, I, should I have received something? I didn't get anything from you. Maybe uh, no. you made a typo. There are three A's. Some people... Think... You no, know, I was on your website and I filled out the application form and heard nothing. Uh, could you give me your email in the chat and then I will write to you? Sure. Yeah. Because some people sometimes, uh, I don't know what happened. Does anybody else have any questions? No, no. Uh, Hannah, yeah, unmute yourself. So I wasn't here last time. So can uh, Yana can give a little bit qu quick description about herself, her background, how she came <laughs> to speak Yiddish? Sure, very quickly. Yes, I'm from Poland. And when I was growing up, there were no Yiddish classes or anything like that available so whenever it became available i took all the possible summer courses and courses at universities and i became fluent after a few years so now we're why were you to... why were you interested in yiddish there are traces you know i grew up in poland and we can see the traces of yiddish culture everywhere so it's a huge um, disappointment that you can't learn the language of the culture that surrounds you your family is jewish then Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, um, so would, would you tell people what you're working on as far as your PhD? Yes, yes. I'm still trying to finish my PhD, <laughs> which is uh, going. Okay, I got your email. Thank you. I will write to you today. And sorry for the difficulties. If I didn't get anything from this email, well, we're, we're going to get it. Tell, tell us about your studies because it's very yes, exciting yes. what you're doing. The topic of the PhD is Yiddish theater under communism in Warsaw. So uh, we know now that there were lots of Soviet spies in the Yiddish theater back then, and we're trying to trace their history. That's the uh, whole topic. And it's taking a very long time because nobody has yet accessed these uh, documents. And sometimes the copies are very blurry. So it takes, let's say, three hours to decipher one page. And there are 8,000 pages of these documents. <laughs> so uh, I'm doing my best to finish. But I think this work has to be continued by other scholars because it's you, just too much. You're, 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 you're studying at University of Michigan, right? Is that yes, right? yes, exactly, exactly. Right. And hopefully um, it's uh, going to be available soon. David, publicly. David, you had a question or yeah, well, Anna, Are you sensitive mm -hmm. to the different accents, Yiddish accents, the Litvak, the Galiziana, how different words are pronounced based on the region in Poland? Yes, so that's the difference. Uh, also, why do we have the unusual uh, teaching methods is uh, we accommodate the dialects. Because when you study Yiddish, uh, 
academically negative. Yeah. Uh, it's not allowed. They, they will correct your Yiddish if you speak the dialect. They will tell you, this is not Yiddish. Uh, you should say, you shouldn't say Krieg, you should say Milhome. You shouldn't say familia, you should say mishpoche, mm -hmm. uh, and so on. And we try to not do it. Uh, we have one teacher who specializes in dialects, and she, every class, she you will give you the whole list of words, how to say it in this dialect, how to say it in that dialect, uh, and so forth. So um, Say the word hot. Say haste. the word hot. Haste. Haste or haste? Oh, yeah, haste. That's Hayes what Hayes, 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 Hayes. Hayes. Mm -hmm. that... Good evening. How can I? I can't remember <laughs> how we said it. Hayes or Hayes. Yeah, did you have another question? Go ahead, Hannah. And then we're talking. So officially in the classes, do they use vos or vos? <laughs> depends on the teacher. Depends oh, okay. on the teacher. I uh, know Sheva Zucker. She grew up with this academic Yiddish, so she will use academic Yiddish. We have teachers from Ukraine who grew up with Ukrainian Yiddish, they will use Ukrainian Yiddish. But we always tell them that they should not criticize people who don't <laughs> talk their dialect because it's, it's, it's a shame, we should preserve dialects, we shouldn't kill them, uh, it does not make any sense. And our teacher for kids also speaks Brooklyn Yiddish. She speaks her own dialect. And it's very cute. I, I adore it uh, because you can tell she grew up with it. You know, you can Say tell. Say something in Brooklyn Yiddish. Uh, That's Brooklyn Yiddish? Yeah. Sounds like German to me. Oh, Brooklyn. Brooklyn Yiddish. I heard in Yiddish. No. I don't, I don't speak Brooklyn. I'm from Poland. <laughs> <laughs> you learn this stuff. So, what is yes, Brooklyn? Yes, Brooklyn Yiddish, for instance, there are some words. Winde, the winde, the window, the window. Yeah. yeah. Um, fenster. Fenster. No, fenster. Well, I was asked, yes, exactly. I was asked to, to say Brooklyn. <laughs> so, that is what. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, Richtig. Richtig, yeah. Richtig. Okay. If, 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 yes. you stay, if you stay on, we've got a couple of video clips. One of the clips that we're going to show is talks a little very funny about how, how many different words mean the same thing, but we'll show that in a, in a little bit later. Okay. Yes, and there is their car instead of oito. Uh, in Brooklyn, you have mir gesucht. Yeah. Yeah, and they also have um, koltov. Koltov. Koltov, everything good. Which we don't use really in academic Yiddish at all. What, there are lots of... word? what is that word? Koltuf or koltov? Vos meintos. That yeah. means like vos vos uh, vos. Alles vos... geht. Alles geht. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's Everything exactly. Oh, so it's a, like a greeting, like a greeting. But this is in Ivri, right? Yes, but they they are somehow they incorporated in in their Yiddish. Depends also where Williamsburg or Borough Park, which part of Brooklyn is crazy. But Thanks. yes, it's all beautiful. We should preserve it because it's fun to have all kinds of Yiddish, right? So uh, yes, I did hear uh, quite a bit of Brooklyn Yiddish. <laughs> and my grandma. Um, so, uh, Joe, you wanna you wanna take over? Yeah. Sure. I, Thank you. Are there Adam. are there some new faces with us tonight? If there are, raise your hand. He did it before. Harriet, would you take a few minutes and tell us a little bit about? I can't unmute you. You have to unmute yourself. Harriet, you need. There you go. Okay. The kids, my hair. Yes, kids, in the Bronx, in New York City. Okay. And my elderly have been coming from Poland and they have been getting to me to The house? Yeah. 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 And yes, I've been in uh, Maryland. Okay. The Kent's hair? Yes. Okay, yes. so I've been in Maryland, in Rockville, Maryland. Mm -hmm. 
in okay and that's gonna learn in dein dein yiddish from dein eltern from my eltern yeah in the in the lernstein eine klach euch ah meine eine klach as my mom Mama hat gelebt, hat sie gerecht, Jesus zu sein. Aber jetzt wissen sie gar nicht. So, als ich sag, sie sei, hat nicht der Schein, das versteht sie. Aber sie auch, sie verstehen die rechte Hand und die linke Hand. Und ein bisschen. Aber nicht ein Sach. Ja, meine Grandchildren, nicht Joe, how about a translation for the the uh oh but dark yeah but more to mention was vice nicht das sag kenne nicht das sag jiddisch jetzt darf du im sogen in english was das uh, gesagt früher okay um i come from the bronx in new york city and my parents came from poland and so when i was growing up they spoke yiddish to me but ukrainian or polish amongst themselves and they wanted me to know Yiddish. So I know Yiddish, I read Yiddish, I write Yiddish. But my children, when my mother was alive, she used to speak Yiddish to them and used to tell me, if you don't talk Yiddish, they're not going to know Yiddish. Right. Well, so when they used to go to her, she would tell them that the, you have to use your right hand and not your left hand. And this is what they remember. Uh -huh. <laughs> so they also know a few words because in Yiddish you also have some Hebrew words interjected. Uh -huh. So because they know Hebrew, they also know that some of these words have a Yiddish dialect. Okay, when she said kol tov, they would know what kol tov is because they know Hebrew. Okay, anything else? Harriet, thank you for joining us. Uh, if you would mute yourself, I appreciate it. But I want to know one thing. I was told tonight about songs. You're going to sing songs. We're going to do songs, yes. You have a song for us? I got a good one. Ice and Pripachik. Okay. You know we'll that back, one? We'll come back to you later for songs. We'll put, good. We'll put you down for that. Okay. Thank you, Harriet. You're very you are, welcome. Who else is new with us? Uh, Ed and Bonnie? No, I'm not new, but I know I can perfect chick. <laughs> sing along. Well, we're all going to sing along. Oh, good. Okay, I think that, is that everybody that's new with us? Yeah. All righty. Uh, I'm new. You're new? Lenny? I'm new. Yes. Lenny, yeah. Please, it, Kennst du in Sogen ein bisschen von deiner Sprache? Mein Yiddish ist nicht sehr gut, aber ein bisschen. Ich lebe in Virginia Beach, Virginia. Und uh, meine Eltern sprachen Yiddish in dem Haus. Sie sprachen zu mir in Yiddish. Und meine Mutter sagte, es war ein Hakte Yiddish. Also, ich verstehe die meisten von ihnen. Und wie hörst du das Gruppe? Ich habe our uh, local temple in uh, Norfolk, Virginia had a had it in the, one of their bulletins that, that this was going to be on. And we have several local clubs where people speak Yiddish. And I've gone to them, but I'm not interested. They go into the grammar part of it. I'm not interested. I like conversational Yiddish. You're a schmoozer. Uh, right. <laughs> exactly. Well, that's what it's we good are. to see everyone. We're schmoozers. Welcome, Lenny. Thank you very much. It's good to sign in, though. Ah, Abyssal Yiddish. I'm a dear. Okay. Do you want to uh, play uh, that uh, video of Leonard Nimoy? Mike? Uh, yeah, Joe, Joe uh, wanted to share this video, which is very interesting. It's uh, Leonard yeah. Nimoy, and he talks about his Yiddish, his Yiddish experience growing up. So let me see if I can do this now. Leonard Nimoy, or whatever he did. So this is uh, Spock. He was Jewish. Okay. okay, let's see if we can get this to work here. And yes. you'll you'll hear some Jewish words. He he speaks a very nice Yiddish. All right, let's hope this works now. Come on. Zion or an Islam? What was the frog? 
says, Edel, from the meat, but working shield, the slider stain and file from boys and muzzle, or is it the waffle and unkegging young from life from ending and then come? Von wann stammt der Mischbacher? Der Mischbacher kommt von uh, Russland, von Ukraine, als Städte, wo es gewinnt, um, Zaslav. Meine Mutter was brought out across the border to Poland under the hay. The hay was snuck across the border. She and her mother, I guess. And my father snuck across the border on foot, someplace that was not patrolled carefully. So he walked across the border into Poland to get out of Russia. He went to Boston, and there he re-met my mother, who he knew from Zaslav, and that's where they were married. We lived in a, a very interesting uh, neighborhood. It was called the West End. It was about 60% Italian, about 30, 25 or 30% Jewish, Yiddish-speaking Jews. The Italians spoke Yiddish, the Jews spoke Italian, some did. My friends were all a mix of Jews and Italians. We lived Second floor was Italian, third floor was, was Jewish. And you could tell who the occupants were by the smell of the food. <laughs> There's only one in Zach's mansion in, um, in the apartment. My uh, Baba Zeta, my Tata Mama, and if we find Blida. My Baba, but no more gland English. She could bake a challah that was beautiful. They made a brush from uh, and basted the, the challah with that. And she taught my mother how to do it. I remember that. <laughs> it came out gold and brown. Oh. So, oh, it was beautiful. Leonard Nimoy. Our barbershop was within, I would say, 75 yards of where we lived. It was nicely outfitted. There were three chairs, although I don't ever remember the third chair, chair being used. And maybe it was just in case business got so so big that they would need a third barber. There was always a pinochle game going in the back room. When things got slow, that you could go in the back room and get a card game. A little bit of gambling going on. My memory was that my dad had a reputation of being a pretty good card player. That cuts, I think, were 25 cents. And a shave was a dime. And then I think by the time I left Boston, it was all the way up to 75 cents for a haircut. Um, a shave was probably a quarter. It was that kind of a, a business. This is a photograph of the grandfather, my, my maternal grandfather, my mother's father, Sam Spinner. You know, he believed in trying and going and doing. And there were often situations where I would declare some interest in something or other, and my parents would say, no, no, he'd say, don't do it. Just go do it. Here, here's a dollar. Go do it. You know? <laughs> yeah. He was uh, quietly supportive because he admired that sense of trying, try something, try something. Go do it. My mom and dad were extremely careful people. Everything they did was, was colored by fear. What could happen if you do this or that? So be safe. Just be safe. They, they didn't understand what Star Trek was all about. They just didn't get it, which I understood. It's not their cup of tea. They don't understand about science fiction, that whole milieu. What they knew was that I was making a good living. I was a, a success. They knew that. Kids would come around to my father's barbershop and ask for a Spock haircut. And he had a picture of me as Spock hanging on a mirror. So he, could, he gave them a bang cut. And Spock is an alien wherever he is, because he's not Vulcan and he's not human, he's half and half. He's a half breed, what we used to call a half breed, a mixed breed, Vulcan father, human mother. So he's not totally at home in the Vulcan culture, not totally accepted in the Vulcan culture because he's not totally Vulcan, certainly not totally accepted in the human culture because he's because he's part Vulcan. And that alienation was something that I had learned in Boston. I knew what it meant to be a member of a, of a minority, and in some cases, an outcast minority. So I understood that. I understood that aspect of the character. I think it was helpful in playing it.
a song that burned itself into my brain. And I, I just fell in love with the song because I felt so identified with it. A song called Up and Vague Straight the Boy. It spoke of a boy who says to his mother, there's this tree on the road and all the fields and abundance and it's just like and all the birds have flown away from the tree and trying to come miserable like I can not have and the boy the lost a lane, Hefka from the storm and the tree is standing alone and there's a storm coming. So I said to Mama, I said to my mother, look, Mama, instance say Baba Floyd with her. In a moment I want to become a bird and I want to go fly to that tree and sit on his branches and sing to it to keep it company during the winter. And she says, And then he says, Fib the Flegel says, Mishwer. So feel so feel Zachan, I can't fly. My mother put on for me clothes. Get your throwing a clear line in their mamas, oi, Sophia Liebschaft, Miss Gelos, where be it? I saw identified with it. I got away, but uh, it was tough. It was really tough. I remember my mother crying at the train station when I left. And uh, I was like my grandfather. I was the adventurer, taking off for another world for all they knew. And to be an actor, no way that that was going to work. <laughs> Isaiah approached me once at, a, at an event and introduced himself and said, we do a series of short story readings called Selected Shorts. Actors and actresses come and read short stories for us. Would you be interested? And I said, I, I wouldn't be interested in doing that. We became friends and I, I did several of these short story readings for him. Isaiah had a background very similar to mine. He acted in Yiddish theater and he knew Schwartz and he had been in that whole milieu. So whenever I would work with him to do one of these short story readings, we would eventually laugh at, laugh into Yiddish. And I would give him a little Shakespeare in Yiddish and he would give me a little of this or that or whatever. And we enjoyed each other with our Yiddish connection. Isaiah's gone, he passed away a year ago. And uh, I spoke at his memorial and talked about this Yiddish connection that I had with him. I found a, uh, a woman here in Los Angeles who was a psychiatrist, but who was a master of the Yiddish language. And I went to her and spent an hour every week or two, paid for the psychiatric fee to have somebody to speak to in Yiddish. <laughs> and, um, and to help me with, with questions about the language, you know, because I missed it. But I think it's, it's going to be, it's just going to go away. It's going to become a historical reference fact. Not something that's in the culture. Alive. You know, I don't see it being an alive language. I don't, I don't know where's, who's going to speak it. How do you feel about me? Sad. Sad. That's the mama lotion. Very sad. Sure. Are there any sayings that you remember from your grandparents? Any Yiddish what? Yiddish sayings. There's Hindus in front of your. You'll bang your head against the wall. When you say, I'm bored, I got nothing to do. Terrible stuff. Don't bang me a tea kettle. <laughs> those, those expressions I remember. Oh, my grandmother. Often from here, I go, I rebunish a lot I rebunish a lot Tell me, oh God, where are things going? <laughs> Master of the universe, tell me what's going on here. <laughs> Thank you. What'd y'all well, think? As you know, we lost Leonard Nimoy. I think it was this, just this last year. He, he died about a year after he gave this, uh, this uh, interview, yes. Anybody have any comments on what they saw? Oh, it was outstanding. 
I'm very tired. It's Greta, Bissa, Shina, Yiddish. I mean, just absolute fluency. Did you hear what he said? He had to pay this psychiatrist the, the yes. psychiatric fee so he could speak Yiddish to her. <laughs> That's that's great. I thought that was the best line I heard. I see David has his hand up. Yes, it made me very happy that one of the few Yiddish phrases I know, Achmenik Kanchanik. I love that. Achmenik <laughs> Kanchanik, yeah. That I knew from my great age. Harriet, are you raising your hand? Alan, welcome. I'm so this man mentioned, I had a bit of a situation later. <laughs> hey, what? Alan. Yana, have you heard uh, Leonard speak? Yo, 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 yo. And I know that psychiatrist um, that he was talking about. Really? Unfortunately, she died. She was, I think, Janet Hada. She died when she was 40, like oh. very young, oh. of cancer. So not a... Nicht gut in ganzen. Nicht gut in ganzen. But yes, but she was famous. Um, lots of people came to her just not for therapy, but for Yiddish, really. Wow. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, they could have joined this, she could have joined this group. Yeah. Yiddish therapy, maybe that's... that's <laughs> the opposite of the therapy, <laughs> yeah. That <laughs> could be a specialty. David. There are um, a fair number of actors and actresses that spoke Yiddish, we know. Um, in Mel Brooks, of course, uh, Greta, uh, Yiddish. Yeah, I'm not going to repeat the line he had in Blazing Saddles, if you remember that line. Laws and Gain. Laws of Gain. Well, he also had, pre he, he prefaced that by their, uh, speaking about their nationality, let's say. <laughs> he looked at them. But um, if what? you watch Meet the Falkers, I missed it the first time I saw it. But in the second one, Barbara Streisand said at least two or three times, Sanishkit. Sanish ah. did it perfectly. You uh, know that would be uh, that would be another uh, uh, session we could do uh, quotes from uh, movies. Or celebrity who spoke Yiddish. Yeah. So yeah, that would be an interesting session. Uh, do you want to run that second video? Is there any other questions or comments before we run the second video? Get the second one. The, the, the second Period. one. Very short. Sure. Harriet, yeah. do you have your hand up? Your teeth in I have a little comment. This revolutionary. This is this is probably. Can you hear me? Yes. That? Nathan Schuster. I'm from Toronto, Canada. Um, it's what's it's a melancholy business. This business of Yiddish disappearing. Uh, American speech used to be replete with Yiddish words, and everybody knew. These words, snore and slapper and ganeth and mishigas, all of that. Okay. That is disappearing from the American speech, which is kind of a pity. It's a, it's a pity. As, as the, what we're hearing is the last echoes of this wonderful culture that reverberated through American history in the last hundred years and had a, such an impact on American popular culture in particular. And it's a sad thing. I could, I could cry, but I'm not going to. Well, much of our history of the entertainment industry in this country, uh, you can trace back uh, quite a bit of uh, Jews uh, throughout the uh, entertainment industry. Particularly comedians, comedians. If, if Nat wants to cry, we'll have to sing to him. Yingle and Vainin. Young boy, don't cry. I'm going to share something that hopefully will will tickle you a little bit. So hang on a second. This, this this I thought was very funny. It's very short, but I think it's very funny. Hang on. Turn it off, please. Oh, hello. So we've been asked if we would talk a little about Yiddish culture and Yiddish language. You know, uh, you can learn a lot about a little louder, Mike. About the vocabulary of the related language. Exactly. In northern Japan, there are a lot of words for sleep. Okay. Uh, French is full of words for romance. Okay. Russian is full of words for alcoholic, and so on. So, so what is Yiddish full of words for? Uh, what is Yiddish uh, full of words for? Give us an example. Okay. Zun. Uh, son. Zindel. Son. Ben. Son. Benok. Son. Bechor. 
oldest son, youngest son, only son, son. Right, so let's give it another example. Something you say a lot in Yiddish. Okay. Right. Uh, Ashod. Unfortunately. Never. Unfortunately. Neither. Unfortunately. 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 Let's do another one. Something that has got a lot of synonyms for. Okay. Okay. Nav. Imbecile. Tom. Imbecile. Ivan. Imbecile. 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 Idiot. Complete imbecile. Ox. Imbecile. Imbecile. Yankel Dondik. Avrem Lamalam. John Q. Imbecile. Yo. Imbecile. Yo Patron. Imbecile. Terror. Imbecile. Tipish Shibitipshin. And imbeciles. Imbecile. Krimakop. Imbecile. Kelbo. Imbecile. Kunyalam. Imbecile. Mashiyane. Mashiyaku. Yakul them shakal. Various imbeciles. Shaitish, Moidish, and Elishan. And three of their friends. Imbeciles. Magdalene Asik. Marinated imbecile. A copy on Asik. Head like an imbecile. A girl on a head. Imbecile on skates. Imbecile. Lekish. Imbecile. Moshe. Imbecile. Hoya, Hamoya. Imbecile. Imbecile. Stick hold, stick fair, stick flesh with the oil. Music. Imbecile. Club. Imbecile. Helmer Hazen's Indian. The pet turkey of the imbecile panther in the town full of imbeciles. Uh, who's our baby? Imbecile! Why is it? Imbecile! Why is it? Big imbecile! Passover imbecile. And of course, the ever popular Shmuel Mordre Kalman. Shmuel Mordre Kalman. Put the initials together. Put the initials together. You think? <laughs> well, now you know how to say the most commonly spoken sentence in the Yiddish language. Unfortunately, your son is an imbecile. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Silly, silly. Hi, I'm Dr. Amy Killen. I have my own medical practice, and I've been using Google now for a few weeks to create these really. All right. Hope you enjoyed that. It's cute. I don't know if you got all the words, but uh, I guess you could give a lot of those words meaning. <laughs> okay. Uh, we ready to do some songs? All right, who, who was it that Harriet? Where are you? Harriet, unmute yourself. You're gonna, you're gonna do one, Harriet. Well, wait a minute. I thought someone else knows that song. Oh, yeah. you don't know it. Someone knows it. I, I know it. I know it. Sing it, sing it with me. Okay, come. the check in the lake Check. Beautiful. Very nice. Beautiful. Yeah. Thank you for leading us, Hannah. Oh, okay. Does, every, does everyone know that that was in Schindler's List? Yeah, I didn't yeah, see that. That's right. Beautiful. Well done. Nice. Thank you. Oh. Please say again, what was the name of that song? On top of the pot bellied stove. <laughs> the horse. The hearth. The hearth. Yeah. Uh, huh? oh. They didn't really have hearts back then. And, and a little pain. Okay. Yeah. We have any other songs tonight? Uh, I, I have a song. Go ahead. My, my, sister, my sister just reminded me. 
because we sang a lot at home and my mother was she loved the Yiddish song so it's about it, it this guy sings about his cousin who came and she oh, the green, oh the green cuisine the cuisine. They said, yeah i didn't know the name she comes and she's very pretty but she's a green and uh and yeah. he says uh, she has red cheeks like she has cheeks like red oranges and she has little feet that really want to dance so anybody so yeah to me a mit Fisalach was betten sich zu tanzen. Very, very nice. By the way, we didn't interpret Eifen Pripitschuk. Who wants to uh, give us the English uh, words for that? It, Bonnie, you want to yeah. do that? Okay, yeah, I can Bonnie. do it. A, a Pripitschuk is a hearth, the hearth in front of the fireplace. Kind of a fireplace. Right. So they're saying on, on the hearth, a fire is burning. So it's warm in the house. Um, it, um, and the rabbi. And the rabbi is teaching little children. Not uh, just the rabbi, it's an affectionate term for the little rabbi, the rebbe. What? It's an affectionate Und, term. No, the und rebbe. And the rebbe. The rabbi is the rebbe. He's a teacher. Little children. Rabbi teacher. And, and he tells them, listen, kids. And listen uh, to me and listen to what I'm teaching you and remember this and keep saying it over and over again. Zog zei nachamo and take nachamo. Say it again and again and yeah. again. Now, who There's knows a, another stanza to that song? You know what? There is another stanza. I never there, learned the other stanza. There is. I don't know it. The other one I know. Alan, do you? I have it. I don't remember it by heart, but I have it. It's something to do with... It's something to do with uh, you need to learn the letters, uh, the Hebrew letters, because every one that's written in the Torah is is there's a, a there's a tear in the ocean for every uh, letter in the Torah, yeah. uh, and those of you who will learn, you'll you'll be receiving a a fun a flag. You'll mm -hmm. uh, all right. So let me tell you the the second part. Lent kingdom at Grace Cheshek. It's kind of difficult. So it, it, it's telling you that uh, when, when, you, when you will get older, Okay, then and only then you will understand what precious pearls, what precious wisdom I give you, and how much that you have found within them. That's that's the the heart of the second stanza. Alan, Alan, that's one the song. Nathan Schuster here from Toronto. Nathan, let's hear from you. No, I was just a, a cousin of mine. That's why I happen to be joining you. Yeah, Alan I'm... told me about this group. Oh, I Alan's your cousin. Really I'm sorry, Nate. I almost missed you. I'm a half an hour late. <laughs> I'll get you, Joe. <laughs> I, I feel honored that he admitted to being a relative of mine. Mekin Kleidman Freunds, but the Mekinish Kleidman, the the Mishpucha. Oh, yeah. Is that Ois Kleidman? Is that the what's the word, Yana? How do you pick? You can't pick your. your you can yeah, pick yeah, yeah, yeah. Ois Kleidman. Ois Kleidman. Reggie, Reggie's Who great. knows all the words to tumbala, tumbala, tumbala like it? Tumbala, tumbala, tumbala like it. And that tumbala, tumbala, tumbala like it. Tumbala like a tumbala like Tumbala like a frail design. Not a state of Tracht, 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 tracht
ומן ציני מנון נשפר שמן, ומן ציני מנון נשפר שמן. טומבה לה, 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 What's the answer? Hearts can answer. Okay. Uh -huh. Do, can you interpret the, in English the basic words to Tumbala Laika? Uh -huh. Hearts can. Isn't it, isn't it a, a song that asks a, a question? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Yes, it then, does. And then you have to give the answer. A, a, a young man stands, tomato, and, stands and thinks, he thinks and thinks a whole night. Whether in whether uh, uh, whether to take it uh, uh, and and uh, it shouldn't burn away uh, and then it goes back to the refrain and then it says Meidel Meidel Ich war der Fragen I, I want to ask you something What can grow Was can wachsen wachsen und regen What can grow without rain Was can brennen What can burn Und nicht aufhören and not and not uh, What can catch fire and not burn up what can bank and what can what can uh, I'm trying to remember. What do you miss? What can vein and vein and untrain? Yeah, yes, but it's what okay. can bank and I forgot that one vein and untrain. And then then she says back to him, not a shabach, a foolish boy. Why do you have to ask Gustavs to fragen? A stone can oh. grow, grow without rain. A uh, love can burn without being consumed. And a and heart can heart break. Without, um, cry without tears. Cry without tears, basically, right. Okay, thank you. That, that's the song. Very, uh, ni very nice. We oh, have Betty. 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 How, how was the phone sex last week? I am Brach. Did you scare him off? He's not here tonight, is he? I already I scared off two of them already. <laughs> Talk about power. How about another song? Who has a song? We got one more. We got time. I remember and, and... my Yiddish mama. David is raising David, David, let's hear from you. Yeah, David. Uh, I, I have a song with a lesson that uh, maybe uh, our country can use at this time. The right. song is called Alla Uh For we're all brothers, we sing happy songs, we stay together. Such a thing is not to be found among others. We're happy and lively. <laughs> singing songs and dancing, but we are all as one. Und wir seinen alle Brüder, oi, oi, alle Brüder, und wir singen auf fröhliche Lieder, oi, oi, oi. Und wir halten sich in einem, oi, oi, sich in einem, solches ist mir da bei keinem, oi, oi, oi. When wir seinen fröhlich munter, oi, oi, fröhlich munter, singen wieder, tanzen unter, oi, oi, oi. Jo, wir seinen alle einig, oi, oi, alle einig, sie mir haben viel zu wenig, oi, oi, oi. Ai, 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 ai. David Pritzker, David, you just sang the song. It's David Petru. Yes. David, David do you see me? David. I want to ask David if the name of that song was Oi, 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 Oi. <laughs> <laughs> We're all brothers. 
So I, I've, 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 I've got to, I've got to uh, say something. I don't know. I, don't know. I, I want to say something because you just, you just, you just <laughs> floored me with that. So with that tune, my dad changed the words to that tune. How and, about? And I, um, and I haven't heard it since I'm maybe. I want to do one. He he said I, I I don't remember the Yiddish, but it was I just came from Cincinnati, Cincinnati, and I don't remember it was all in Yiddish, and I didn't. Remember. But that was what he used to. He was a traveling salesman, and every time he came home, he would sing this song. I just came from Cincinnati, and <laughs> same thing. And I, I I wish I could have. I, I, I wish I knew. Betty. That. A very little little it's song, okay, about the about a Rebbe. I can sing the Rebbe Ellie Mailer, but I'm not gonna do that one. Wait, you're muted. Yeah, Hold it. Hold it. As, as the Rebbe Lach, as the Rebbe Lach, Lach and Allah, as the Rebbe Lach, as the Rebbe Lach. Red and all of them as the rebatons, as the rebatons, Hans and all of them, Hans and all of them, as the rebatons, as the rebatons, Hans and all of them, as the rebatons. And as the rebel in Allah to see them, Schluff in Allah to see them, as the rebel schluff, as the rebel schluff, in Allah to see them. And you can, you can keep that going with all kinds of things. Adolf snoring. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I learned it, Matt. Well, ladies and gentlemen, alle, this is given a sehr freilige Stunde, was mit, uh, uh, oh, meine Jüdischkeit weg. Das ist weggelaufen. Ein bisschen auf Abrenien und der Schnaps. Ein bisschen auf Schnaps. Thank you for a good <laughs> yes, fun half hour. hour. Alan. Let me, let me yes. We, we did a clip. drinking the Alachayim. We showed some clips. We did a little talking. We yeah, talked. Nice. We had uh, Yana here. Did you all enjoy tonight? It's very yeah. much so. Yeah. Yes. Good. Alan, very good. Alan, a good. A good new bar. Yeah, so the next question I have is our next session is just before Thanksgiving. Is okay. that a big problem? No. 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 Okay. okay. I, I will be in San Francisco, so I will Lucky you. leave it to Joe and to um, Al to, to conduct this. I don't think I'll be able to do it on my iPad, but uh, I wish you all happy holiday. You too. Too. I, I, I got to run. Well, she, was, she, regrets. she was she is in Los Angeles right now. And she's That's with her. Hey, hello, everyone. a Greece, Fenola. Get the night, the shame the night. Let's get Good to work. Good to work. Good to work. Stay on, Mike. Hey, Mike, stay on for a second. I lost him. All right. Good night, everybody. Matt, have a good one. Joe, Al, thank you so much. Always a pleasure. We'll see you guys in two weeks. Yeah. Bye, Wochen. Nicht eins, nicht drei. <laughs>